Hi, David with David and Ivalice.com. I just finished reading uh, James Traub's biography on John Quincy Adams last night, and uh, it was extremely uh, interesting to read about a president that we don't hear or know a lot about, and, and yet uh, he was uh, probably the most uh, uh, important and influential uh, statesman and president that we had um, in the early years of our republic. Um, a lot of us know about um, Abraham Lincoln and we think of him as the great emancipator, but this whole discussion about slavery was going on from the inception of the the country and uh, John Quincy Adams actually after he was president uh, in 18 he was he was president from 1825 to 1829 he actually is the only president then to go on to serve in the House of Representatives and he did so the last 16 years of his life and during that time he actually uh, ended up uh, representing the uh, serve, uh, the the Mendy tribe uh, that we know about from the uh, movie Amistad. If you haven't seen that, encourage you to go see Amistad. Great movie. But he actually uh, the case actually goes to the Supreme Court. He actually um, uh, presents uh, the case to the Supreme Court and he actually got a seven to one ruling in his favor which is fascinating to think about because and you say seven to one that's eight justices not nine well one of the justices actually passed away uh, during the deliberation I believe that was in 1841 42 if I recall but um, seven to one and and uh, I, uh, the majority of those justices on the Supreme Court at that time were actually from the South. Were from the South. They were from southern states. So he not only won, but he won decisively uh, the case for these free black men from Africa who were illegally taken by Spanish um, uh, slave traders. And um, anyhow, uh, but so so after that, he continued to. Um, push of uh, uh, the case of the slavery issue forward in the House of Representatives. It's just fascinating to see a guy who um, well, essentially was the Wilbur Wilberforce of this country, uh, the lone voice uh, for the anti-slavery uh, um, position, at least in Washington, D.C. at that time. So uh, it's very inspiring and um, and how does this tie into business? Well, for me, sometimes you know I, I feel like I'm a lone voice or a lone wolf out there, and uh, and it, stories like that encourage me to just keep pushing forward. Um, and so, hopefully, that helps. Uh, this is David with DavidEvelise.com. See you soon.